Hi, I'm Cora Fox, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of English at Arizona State University. And the poem that I'm offering in gratitude is actually an excerpt from a much longer poem, Ovid's Metamorphoses, uh, which was written around the decade, the first decade of the Common Era, or AD. And I'm reading a section of the poem that is um, called The Doctrines of Pythagoras, even though it's actually Lucretian philosophy. And I'm reading the translation by A.D. Melville, the translation of the Latin. And I like this section of the poem because it articulates the vision of the poem overall, which is that the world, that nothing is constant in the world but change. And the world is ruled, especially the material world, by change and metamorphosis. And so here it is. In all creation, nothing endures. All is in endless flux, each wandering shape a pilgrim passing by. And time itself glides on in ceaseless flow, a rolling stream. And streams can never stay, nor lightfoot hours. As wave is driven by wave, and each pursued pursues the wave ahead, so time flies on and follows, flies and follows, always forever new. What was before is left behind. What never was is now, and every passing moment is renewed. You see how day extends as night is spent, and this bright radiance succeeds the dark. Nor when the tired world lies in midnight peace is the sky's sheen the same as in the hour when on his milk-white steed the morning star rides forth, or when bright harbinger of day aurora gilds the globe to greet the sun. The sun's round shield at morning when he climbs from earth's abyss glows red, and when he sinks to earth's abyss at evening, red again, and at his zenith gleaming bright, for there the air is pure and earth's dross far away. Nor can the queenly moon ever retain her shape unchanged, but always, as her orb waxes or wanes, tomorrow she must shine, larger or smaller than she is today. Thank you for all you're doing. We're thinking of you.